Hi guys, in this video we are going to learn how to write an algorithm to find sum of n natural numbers and draw flowchart for it. Here we have, we have to find algorithm to sum of n natural numbers. Natural number is always start with 1, 2, 3 up to infinity. Here we have to find sum of n natural numbers. n natural number, if n value is 50, we have to find sum of 1 plus 2 plus 3 up to 50 numbers. We have to find sum of 50 1 to 50, 50 natural numbers. In this algorithm, we have to find sum of n natural numbers. If n value is equal to 10, we have to find sum of 1 plus 2 plus 3 up to plus 10. 10 natural numbers. We have to find sum of first n natural numbers. Here we have to find, we have to write algorithm to find sum of n natural numbers. Write an algorithm. Algorithm is a step by step process to solve a problem. Step 1. Algorithm is always start with start statement. So first we have to write start statement. Next step 2. In step 2 we have to read the input value. Here we have to read n value that is read n. Next in step 3 we have to declare the values. See so, yeah, n, n natural numbers always start with the one no so here we have to declare variable i is equal to one the value of i is equal to one next initially sum is equal to zero no so here we have to write sum is equal to zero in step four we have to start the process sum is equal to sum plus i we have to add sum plus i initially sum is equal to 0 plus i is equal to 1 so we have to add 0 plus 1 next sum value become 1 in step 5 each time we have to increase the value of i that is i is equal to i plus 1 initially i is equal to 1 no next value is 2 next value is 3 like that first 1 1 plus 1 2 2 plus 1 3 like that here we have to increase the value i is equal to i plus 1 step 6 we have to check if i value less than or equal to n go to step 4 see here uh, if we have to if if our n value is 10 consider n value is equal to 10 here initially step 4 sum is equal to initially sum is equal to 0 0 plus i is equal to 1 that is 1 sum is equal to 0 plus 1 is equal to 1 sum value become 1 next i value is equal to initial i value is equal to 1 1 plus 1 is equal to next i value become 2 right here we have to check if i value 2 value is it less than or equal to 10 if it is true we have to again go to step number 4 here we have to again add sum is equal to here 1 plus i value is equal to 2 2 that is 1 plus 2 is equal to 3 Again, we have to go to step number 5 that is i is equal to our i value is equal to 2, right? 2 plus 1 is equal to it become 3. Again, it will check 3 is less than or equal to n or n value is 10. No, if 3 less than or equal to 10, it again goes to step number 4. If i value become 10, yeah, again we will check 10 is less than or equal to 10. Yes, right. 10 is equal to 10. Again, it will go to the step number 4. Here, it adds sum plus is sum value, variable value plus 10. Next, i is equal to, our last value is 10. No, i value is 10. 
next we have to add 10 plus 1 it become 11 no again it will check in step number 6 again it will check i value that is 11 less than or equal to 10 is it true or false false right after that it is directly go to the step number 6 sorry step number 7 here we have to print some value right what is the question we have to find the sum of first and natural number right sum so here we have to display the sum value in step number 8 we have to stop the algorithm using stop statement this is the algorithm to find the sum of first natural numbers and natural numbers step 1 it is start with start statement step 2 it is we have to read n value in step 3 i is equal to 1 sum is equal to 0 we have to initialize the value of i is equal to 1 and sum is equal to 0 in step number 4 we have to calculate the process sum is equal to sum plus i and step step number 5 i is equal to i plus 1 in step 6 we have to check if i value less than or equal to n if this condition is true we have to go to step 4 otherwise we we have to print the value sum in step number 7 we have to print sum value in step number 8 we have to stop the algorithm using stop statement next we have to draw the flowchart Flowchart is a graphical representation of algorithm. It is always start with start statement. It is writing within an oval shape. We have to draw oval shape. Within that we have to write start statement. Next two, we have to read the input value. Input value is always writing within a parallelogram shape. So we have to draw parallelogram shape. Within that we have to read the value. That is read n value. Next two, we have to declare the values right sum and i value we declared in i is equal to 1 and sum is equal to 0 no here we have to in flowchart also we have to declare the values using rectangular shape declaration is always done within a rectangular shape here i is equal to 1 and sum is equal to 0 initially sum is equal to 0 no Next, we have to start the process. Process also writing within a rectangular shape. Here, sum is equal to sum plus i, right? So, here we have to write sum is equal to sum plus i. Next step. Next step, we have to calculate i is equal to i plus 1 right each time i value increase by one value next we have to put if condition right if condition is always writing within a diamond shape if i value less than or equal to n if this condition is true we have to go to sum is equal to sum plus i process right if this condition is true it will goes to sum is equal to sum plus i i is equal to i plus 1 until i less than or equal to n value become false if this condition is false we have to display the output right output value always writing within a rectangular sorry sorry it is parallelogram shape so here we have to draw parallelogram shape sorry output value always writing within a parallelogram shape here we have to print sum value print sum next step we have to stop the flowchart using stop statement it is writing with it in a oval shape this is the flowchart to find sum of first and natural numbers 
Flowchart is always start with start statement. It is writing within a start statement. Next, we have to read the input values. Input values always writing within a parallelogram shape. Input and output value always writing within a parallelogram shape. Next, we have to declare the value. Declaration always done within a rectangular shape. So, we have to draw rectangular shape. In that, we have to write i is equal to 1. We have to declare i value is equal to 1. Sum is equal to 0. Next, we have to start the process. Sum is equal to sum plus i. And i is equal to i plus 1. Next step, we have to check if i value less than or equal to n. If this condition is true, we have to go to sum is equal to sum plus i process. So, here put the, this arrow mark to continue this process. If this condition is false, we have to print some value, right? So, we have to print some value within a parallelogram shape. And finally, we have to stop the flowchart using stop statement. This is the flowchart to find the sum of first and natural number. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe my channel.